Uh, I was very supportive of, of the President's energy policy, the, uh, the cap and trade. I was actually a person who believed in the carbon tax, uh, but that apparently wasn't going anywhere in Congress at that time, although there's many converts to a carbon tax now after looking at the, the problems with, uh, uh, with cap and trade. But clearly, uh, investment will be spurred again if at some point we decide what the price of carbon is and then let the various forms of carbon go out and compete against, uh, against one another. What It's my understanding that back in 1997, when you were vice president, Enron's CEO, Ken Lay, was involved in discussions with you at the White House about helping develop this type of policy, this trading scheme. And, uh, is, that, is that accurate? Is it inaccurate? It's, it's been reported. Uh, I, I, I don't know, but, but I, I met with uh, uh, Ken Lay, as lots of people did, before anybody knew, knew uh, that he was a right. crook. And, and clearly, it, you can see why so many of us are concerned about this type of cap-and-trade energy uh, tax that would be literally turning over this country's I energy economy. I didn't know him economy. well enough to call him Kenny Boy. Well, you, but you knew him well enough to help devise this trading scheme, and obviously we know what Enron and these big guys on, uh, on Wall Street like Goldman Sachs, and I know you've got interest with Goldman Sachs. No. And these people, well, it's, that's been reported. Is, is that not accurate? No, I, I wish I did. With executives from, the, you're partnered in companies with executives from Goldman Sachs. Well, With executives from the, you're partnered in companies with executives from Goldman Sachs. Well, if you're not, either way, Enron clearly had an interest in doing this when they were around. We saw what they did. And when you see the types of people involved in wanting to set up this kind of scheme, you can uh, see why so many of us are concerned about are turning you, our energy economy over to a scheme that was devised by companies like Enron and, and some of these Wall Street well, that, firms that, that wrecked I mean, our financial economy. I, I, I don't really know uh, if you want me to respond to that. I, I guess what you're trying to say... It, you, you're trying to. Uh, I mean, clearly there will be big winners and big losers. Of, you're trying to say there's some kind of guilt by association. Is that is that not association? I'm saying that there are going to be big winners and big losers in this bill, and that's been discussed by everybody talking. Big winners and big losers. But some of the big winners are some of the very financial experts that help destroy our financial marketplace. And I think that should be noted that companies like Enron helped come up with this trading scheme that would be uh, it, Enron, in, in Enron, Enron didn't create uh, this, this uh, uh, proposal in any way, shape, or form. Well, the details that's are not a, in this bill. That's a false accusation. The details are not in this bill, and I would suggest that they are.